Hello everyone, I'm here today to do a review of The Trees by Percival Everett which is part of the long list of the Booker 2022 um, and this book is about it's set in the south of the US and it's set around this um, what seems to be murders, right? So um, it starts with this uh, white boy dead in the back of his house uh, and next to him there is a black man that is also dead um, and this happens um, several times like um, this happens the police arrives um, and they try to investigate they take the bodies away and then um, the black man's body disappears and nobody has seen anyone coming in or out um, so they think maybe he was not dead, but then he appears again in another murder of another black, white man um, next to him, um, dead again. And the same thing happens, they take them away and then the black man disappears again. And this happens several times and we follow the town um, trying to figure out what's going on, especially um, these uh, detectives that are trying to figure out what is happening and why is this black man always coming out um, in in different murders and nobody knows who he is. Um, apparently he, his features were destroyed so nobody quite knows who he is. Um, so the, the structure is quite repetitive at times like we we see uh, these white people uh, dying next to the black body and after a while you know that this is what's gonna happen um, and every single murder we kind of try to know a little bit more until we finally reach the the answer so it's kind of a mystery um, murder mystery kind of book but with a lot more um, <sighs> discussion around uh, especially racial um, injustices, slavery, um, the segregation, uh, all of these things that happen in South to black people um, and how black people has been mistreated and especially in this town the Ku Klux Klan was and is still a big, um, a big thing so that also plays a role in the story. Um, and I mean people usually talk about this as a very surprising book. I kind of like I I was not very surprised by, by the twists. Um, I kind of thought that something like that might happen. Um, some points it does seem like it has a supernatural element and but it's one of those things that it's like is it or is it not is it just like we don't know what's gonna happening so it feels supernatural or is it actually supernatural but overall like the twist i didn't think were like that impressive and um the the tone of the book is also something very important uh, I know that a lot of people love this book and I think that is partly because it is a very humorous book in a very US based kind of humor uh, and I am not from the US uh, so that humor doesn't gel with me as well as it could have um, for other people. Um, so that is another not criticism but things that might you might want to take into account if you want to read this book. So personally I didn't um, overly enjoyed this book. Um, it was, I guess it was interesting enough to follow and it was a fast read um, but I, I wouldn't say that it was one of my favorites or, or anything. I have seen a lot of people feel that way um, and I think that is partly because of the US based cultural um, surroundings that some people have and some people don't and I don't. Overall it just didn't it just didn't land with me so well. It, I didn't think it was anything that special. I think it's one of those books that um, if you write the hype you might think it's really good but then reflecting on it it's, it's just not that deep. Um, I, I have seen people discuss like the racial aspects of this book but for me it was just not that deep. Um, yeah, I um, I thought it was okay, but I didn't think it was anything special. So take with that as <laughs> what you will. Um, but yeah, those are my opinions. Let me know if you have read it, uh, what you thought about it, or if you want to read it. And until next video, bye!